So I know Ski's on the show, huge sneakerhead. That's my boy. He wanted to send you a little gift or something For like me? that. For me? Yeah, yeah, some, No way. Some crazy heat. Show me. Yeah. What? Let's see what my boy got for me here. Let's take a look. I think it's in here. It's like a something, he sent you crazy. What heat. the oh. world? He sent you something crazy. Oh, God. Open it. I mean, it's secret. Happy Halloween! Oh, my God. <laughs> Trick or treat. You're beautiful Caucasian. Was that a trick or was that a treat? That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm at Welty. You know who the hell I am. Let's get it. <laughs> we have with us here today. DJ Ski, he is a mixtape king, an entrepreneur, and a sneaker guy since before all you sneaker guys decided you huh. wanted to be sneaker guys. The real triple OJ, OJ, J, J. DJ Ski. A while. I forgot about that. Right? I didn't forget. It's so funny. So, more kids know me, despite all the real work that I put in in the music industry, mm. more kids know me for being on Complex, what was it, in the closet first season yeah. than anything else. Like, wow. It's wild. So, yeah. like, buying shoes is more important than actually doing real work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you guys. Yeah, I, yeah uh, that's, that's my real work. Of course, right? <laughs> We're going to talk about your sneaker history. The first thing we want to talk about, though, the shoes everybody has on feet. So, Welty, please tell us what you're wearing. Speaking of putting in work. Oh. Got on the Carhartt New Balance 990 V1. Suede's really hairy on You gonna put them in the dirt? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you Shout already know. Shout out to my <laughs> Come on, you already know we got the Patois and the New Balances on feet. Um, shout out to my brother Joe Fresh. You already know how we coming, man. <sighs> the, these are crazy. The King is here? This, these are crazy. Man. Joe, you went crazy. That can't might be the best colorway of the three. This might be the best colorway. I can't wait to wear the other ones. So I had to pull out uh, Kobe <gasps> 6 Barcelona mangoes, let's, right? So let's go. These were, okay, arguably the greatest basketball shoe of all time, right? But Hot I just, shakes coming in early. I like that. I love this colorway, too, because I think that's my favorite colorway of that shoe. It's that so colorway sick. Is nuts. It's so limited. It has the Barcelona logo on the inside. They had, This was their, like, alternate jersey that year, so it was based on that. And Kobe, obviously, has a long history loving soccer and loving Barcelona, so I had to bust these out. I had to bust these out. This is Look Studio. It's Reebok. Come on. Those are so good. Yeah. Let me look. The game hurt my heart when he said Hurricanes in store November's fuck Reebok, so this is payback. <laughs> you got jokes, it's funny. I still had all those Hurricanes, right? You really? Know? You had the Hurricane sneakers? Man, we were working. That was what made. Come on, we were yeah. putting out all the game mixtapes, of course. We had I wish you would have brought those. I wish you would have. I, I wish I had a pair still, just for this. <laughs> I still had all those Hurricanes. <laughs> oh, God. I actually got a whole Wait, did like. He ever, did he ever try you for your Air Max 95s? He, he never tried me for my Air Max. Actually, he probably did. He tried to hold me up. There was one <laughs> video shoot. I, I was trying, we were shooting on the Ski TV era, and I couldn't get game to show up. Like, And I had to literally bribe him. It was with the South Beach LeBrons to show up. So. Amazing. Obviously, you've bought thousands of shoes over the years. But what's the most regrettable sneaker purchase you ever made? Oh, without question, it was at a sneaker convention. Some kid came up to me, wasn't paying much attention, <laughs> trying to be a nice guy. I had all the Ben Jordans, remember like the Premio Ben Italian ones, series. except the twos. And I didn't really brown like ones. the twos at the time, but the brown like twos ones. at all, right? Is yeah, that... nobody was with twos, but <laughs> the kid came up. Your favorite Jordan. Jordan. They handle them. Okay. Anyways, twos is another conversation, but. <laughs> I get him, I didn't look hard, like I just looked and the kid was like, oh, I'm trying to sell blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what, I don't have him. Gave him some cash, went back and then looked at him. Like as soon as I got back to the hotel, I was like, these aren't even good fake. Wow. You know? So the I got The wax had, stamp flaked right? right off. Yeah, dude, the wax stamp was like not even red and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't even look. And I was trying to like out of the goodness, just be like, oh yeah, like I sure, like I need that pair, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah. here you go. So how much, how much money did you give him? I don't remember, it was years ago, probably like five, six hundred though. Yeah. But so, she was doing yeah. the Birdman hat and yeah. after that. That kid's well, like, like a lot. Like, <laughs> and I didn't even look. I was like, all right, cool, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so regrettable. Pain. All right, let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is Adidas saying that they are putting the Kanye West partnership under review, whatever that means. I feel like this doesn't really mean anything since at least at the time of taping, they're still selling the sneakers. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing falls apart. I feel like it's kind of run your course. Ski, do you like the Adidas Yeezy stuff much? Are you more of a Nike Air Yeezy guy? Where do you fall on that? You know, I got into the Yeezys. Uh, I had the Nike Yeezys. Mm -hmm. I actually started really getting into Adidas like with the Ultra Boost right before the Yeezys came out. And they hit like the perfect storm, right? They had a great product. Yeah. Ultra Boost was a great shoe. Yeah. And they signed Yeezy. In the last couple of years, I just haven't, you know, loved the message that Kanye was about 
and stuff. So yeah. I decided, like, look, it's not for me. I don't agree with the things that he's saying and some of those some of those beliefs. So I was like, eh. I wasn't really the biggest Adidas guy, anyways. Yeah. So I kind of was like, made the move to, to step away and got rid of a bunch of my. This felt like a little like reactionary too, because obviously Kanye's had a lot of uh, yeah. messages he's put out on media lately. But when he had done the White Lives Matter T-shirt at his fashion show, this is like came out like. A day. Right afterward. I think the important part of it is they said they didn't have shared values was yeah. how Adidas had said it. And that felt maybe like they were reacting to that message that didn't resonate. Yeah, well and it makes all. sense. I feel the same way. Like, I don't share those values. Yeah. You know? I'm, yeah. I'm not fucking with it. It's tough. I mean, it's right. And I love Yeezy. Like, obviously, for what he's done for hip hop and the community, like, but like, it's just certain times you can't, you know, I don't, I don't want to support certain messages. The same way, like, I wouldn't wear a certain player's shoe or something else that represented mm -hmm. something else that's there. So hopefully we can get, like, all that stuff together. But just at this moment, that's just how I felt. Did you get to see that the Red October is? I did. I saw actually the episode you guys had with Joey Badass, and the same thing happened. Like, I don't get, believe it or not, people are like, yo, you get all this free stuff and I'm like I actually don't because I'm one of the people that <laughs> wait don't. is this the is this the preamble to you getting free red October yes. you complaining about <laughs> yes, okay yeah 100%. go ahead so it paid for everything right but over the years like I'm not the guy that's like jamming people up like I'd rather save my favors for something instead of like a real shoe like when mm. a, there's a moment that's right or a real business deal or something that's when I'm gonna make the calls however you know we did some stuff with the Yeezys I remember you remember you know, my, our boy Croatian style right oh, come on he, he had an early plug on him and we did like he actually came to our studio to do a little giveaway and I don't think Nike was happy about it. They're like, hey, we're fake, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't know about that. All right. After that, like a week later, I got a box and it was a little dented up and I was like, what is this from Nike Entertainment? Opened it up and uh, Red that was the best, best uh, you know, October ever. <laughs> to, to, to jump in on um, what you guys were saying about, you know, everything that's going on with Ye right now, you know, um, I use this quote a lot and um, with this subject dealing with Ye, it's a little bit more serious. It's the Batman quote, you know what I'm saying? So you, you know, you either die a hero, you live long enough to see yourself turn into a villain. Those views that he has and his perspectives, um, because of the way that internet and media works, I feel like things go viral so fast before any explanation. Like, obviously, I mean, Ski, we've been collecting gay stuff since Nike time, yeah, and then the Adidas stuff, I feel the same way. The I have beginning. his Reeboks. I have the Reebok. Really? Oh, you, got, you got the, the S, S card or yeah. Reeboks? So it's yeah. my on. fuck Reebok. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of my only pairs. So. <laughs> I do feel that the Yeezy model has not been amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, the newer stuff for the last couple of years has not been amazing. I agree. But I don't even think it's even about the antics. I think a part of it is kind of also like the shoe is not You just crazy. don't like the product that much. Next bit of sneaker news, something a little less to unpack. <laughs> there has been a leaked and confirmed Concepts Nike SB Lobster. This is the white lobster, which is even <laughs> rarer lobster. So the shoes are even rarer. Confirmed, these are going to be a friends and family shoe. Ski, I know that you're a Nike fire. Dunk guy, Nike SB guy, yeah. limited shoe guy. It's a fire. So are you going to be able to be on the friends and family list for these? I hope so. Probably not. But I'm going <laughs> to start the campaign right now. I have to go to StockX. Talk to the camera that, and tell right? them. Like, hey, so let's go. Like I'm in. I support them. I wear, especially I love the purple ones because yeah. I can wear those in my Vikings games. There so you go. Right. there we go. I need, so this, I need those. I love this them. This does it for you when you see it. I mean, it's I love, like a, you know what? I thought it actually looks like because I remember and they came out again. But one of the shoes that the first shoes that I got a couple pairs of as a kid was the uh, silver Jordan ones, the retro I think 2001s that mm -hmm. were numbered yeah. on the inside. That that actually looks a lot like that silhouette, just obviously a low top on it and with the fat tongue. Did you right. get those again when they came out in the briefcase? It was like 2009 I, or? I got the, yeah, I got the Japanese version. Yeah, I got the briefcase, for, briefcase version. 25th anniversary. The 25th anniversary ones, but I think they, were, they didn't they just recome out yeah. again like a year One ago? more time. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get the, yeah. that one. It was too much. Though. You know what? For me, I consider the Lobster series to be one of the best Nike SB yes. ones, but also. I feel like they gotta slow it down a little bit. And I'm glad this is a friends and family because yeah. there's an orange lobster coming out and then yeah. we a white lobster okay, there it is. A rainbow That's in true. there. Like, it doesn't water it down as much if it's only a friends and family right. shoe. Yeah, I was, you, you got my point right yep. there uh, with the orange. I was like, damn, we coming with this one. And I was like, yeah. the orange ain't even dropped yet. Are you putting um, in an ass for this Trinidad? Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, Very I humble. Feel, I feel with this one, um, if. Dion wants me to have it, I'll have it. <laughs> I'm not putting his name out there. Dion, <laughs> Dion, if you want me to have this shoe, let me have the shoe, Dion. You know what to do. I'll take, I'll take it for Trinidad. I'll yeah. take one for the team. You know? <laughs> now, for sure. Ski, I want to get into, I mean, your sneaker history. When I say sneaker history, it's like, man, you've been collecting for so long. But before you really became a collector, 
What made sneakers matter to you first? Growing up in the 90s, right? Watching my favorite athletes of all time wearing these okay, silhouettes. Sports. So watching Jordan like ball out in these shoes and seeing the hype around them, right? And then beyond that, like seeing every rapper and everybody that I idolize like wearing and grasping for these from fresh prints yeah. to, I remember even the Jordan 11 seemed like boys to men wearing them on Jay right. Leno. Like right. they got seated them early and I was like, damn, what are those? You were paying attention specifically yeah. to those. 100% yeah. right. like for, for those things. And then like what well, my favorite athlete of all time was King Griffey Jr. and he had such a great like nice. I almost wore Griffey's up here right like one of my Go favorite Mariners. lines ever yeah there are you, you gonna put right, the shoe right. on your head <laughs> I might right, <laughs> 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 doing, right? right? <laughs> that's good luck like that's a, it's a, I, they actually should make it that's a pretty great campaign for Nike they should send you a check for those things but just getting into <laughs> it from from the 90s in that era I heard there was like a pair of Barclays too that yeah. you couldn't get yeah there was a pair of Barclays that's what actually got me into shoes so I got I really wanted the Barkley shoes after the Suns, I think, were in the finals. Yep. And my mom wouldn't buy them for me. Instead, she was like, no, I'll get you something else. She took me like Payless or something, got me some other shoes and got me some, uh, what do you call it, like the glue stuff to customize and paint on it. Okay. She's like, this will be cooler, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. And so I like, did it and went to school and got made fun of. So it was like that moment oh, that yeah. I was like. Revenge. Revenge for life. Right. So yeah. she you, feels bad. She's like, oh, should, I, I'm the one that's responsible. I'm like, you show kinda. Mosh your early artwork and compare the two? Or? <laughs> yeah. Mosh might have had me buy a little bit, right? <laughs> okay. I want to talk to you about the Nike Talk era too. Like, how much yeah. were you on there buying and selling sneakers? Dude, all the time. I actually started off before on Nike Park, which okay. was before Nike Talk. So, talk to him. Yeah. 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 I mean, Park too. It was Come wild. On. So, like, Nike Park was one of the first sites. And, dude, back, back when I was like a teenager, I set up a site. Like, I had the original, like, kicksonline.com and built my own website and was in Photoshop, like, Photoshopping Jordans. And I actually made plugs at, like, I remember there was a guy at, uh, at Finish Line, I think, or Foot Action, that would, like, leak me pictures early. So, I had, like, really? a, a site early on where I was leaking sneaker news just for fun, right? Like right. as a 14 year old kid. When I started like building an audience and things from that, I wish right. I kept it and kept that domain, but. That, that, we might have like, to hire you on Soul Collective. You can just right? be a news writer, Dude, you know? So, right? like, it's, I just loved it, right? Like it was fun, it's, it's right. culture. Wait, like, so like, you've like, resold sneakers? Yeah, well that's how I got like, that's actually how I paid a lot of my bills when I moved to LA. So the way that I moved to LA when I was a, a teenager, I wrote a letter to Steve Rifkin, who's the CEO loud on what he was doing wrong with his label. He offered me a job, so moved to LA. Um, I met him selling PlayStations. He needed a PS2 for his son for, for Christmas, and I had them. And from that, I met like Fat Joe and Exhibit and all these artists. You were selling and, Fat Joe sneakers? Yeah, I was getting him shoes. So if you look at like all the stuff from his Cribs episode, like a bunch of that was for me. And it was just because I was like a little wise kid on the internet, right? Like in, in Minneapolis that's ordering stuff. So. All right. All right. Yeah. Wait, did you sell Fat Joe the Air Jordan 7s that he licked? I don't know if I sold them those. Wow, I was that would be my, huge if you were part of that. We would have unlocked right? like the like the key hole. I should have taken credit for it. Yeah, you, you should have done it. Just lie. Take two. Yeah. Just lie. Just lie. Just lie. You talk about selling those shoes, but you had told a story where you, um, the Nike SB, Mulder Dunks, I think one of yeah. one of the original Nike SBs for Richard Mulder, you had bought the, the white with the blue check, you had bought them off Ben Baller. Yeah. Back so, in the day, you didn't know who he was, he just showed up or? Nobody, no, it's just so funny. So K-Town Ben's Hustler. my guy, right? He was K-Town Hustler on Nike Talk, and we made a deal. So at the time, they'd come out with the four SBs. It was yeah. the first ever SB release, mm-hmm. and only skateboard shops had it. And a lot of the skateboard industry, like, did not mess with it. Like, yeah. they were They're like, like, get it, Nike out of here, like. 100%. Yeah. Like, like there was backlash, Don't do it. but I was like, yo, these are dope. They're dunks, but actually comfortable and like right. fat tongues and stuff. Right. And I love I just love that like white and blue colorway still to this day. And connected with K-Town Hustler and he's like, let's meet up. And he's like, you can't tell anybody who I am. I'm like, who is this guy? <laughs> and he pulls up, I just moved to LA, right? Yeah. So he's like basically the first person that I meet like outside of work. And it was funny, I remember Ben, cause Ben's a little braggadocious, yeah, right? A, a little, oh, just a little a bit? Little? Just a little bit? <laughs> so Ben always has to have the best thing. So I had, I was feeling myself at the time cause from reselling, I'd bought the old Cadillac Escalade, the new <laughs> Body style was out, and I just moved to LA. I was from Minneapolis. So I'm like, yeah, I'm the coolest kid ever. Ben pulls up, like, oh great, like, oh you got the the old Escalade. Yeah, I just got the new one. Blah blah blah. <laughs> all those things. I was like, of just course that was nice. Like, you, you can't no tell reason. me. But ever since, and we became like boys. Can you give me a G U not T-shirt? I gotta see if we can find some. There's been some. I would love to have one. <laughs> there's a lot of issues. You might not want to wear that around, right? Like, <laughs> no, been Tony Ayo. Tony Ayo. I'm about to say Tony Ayo will smack the fire. Yeah, you, you might not want to wear that. You might not want to wear that. We'll be that. good. We're close friends. <laughs> so you, you a small guy, bro? Ski, we know that you're a huge phone positive fan. Yeah. If that shoe makes a comeback, which has been kind of like, yeah. I've been creeping. How good do you think it would do this time around? I mean, the challenge, like, when they got to printing on it is what really what kind of like, killed ooh. it, right? Like, yeah. It was so good so at first, but yeah. then it was The, the so weatherman that had, like, the herpes on it? 
<laughs> yeah, that's the best way. That's the best way I've ever heard it described. They're just like, it'll happen, right? And you're yeah. starting to see the scenes, like the CDG stuff was cool, and I think you know, CDG was really cool. I mean, what really like killed it for me? Remember the eggplants? How those are such like, yeah. I yeah. love that colorway. Beautiful. And then they came out with them again, like a year and a half later. Right. It was like, guys, like, yeah. let's let it breathe. Ski, limited shoe guy. When I think back about my Galaxy phone posits yeah. that I literally camped out for. The shoe caused so much stir, but in reality, it's just like printed on there. It's like white under there, like because I, I hooped in them and messed them up. Of so course, it scratched you did. Off. It, fl it flaked off. It the... flaked off. Yeah. It just flaked off, and it's like just white. And if you took all the Galaxy off yeah. of the phone, it's yeah. just a white. It's a black hole. In that era, like when Galaxy phone posits and stuff were coming out, did you just have like an instant plug? Like you could just like so that pick one. And I, pop? I had to negotiate with them. They wanted me to DJ an All Star event, and I said I'd only do it if you know that was part of my compensation. So. And just to getting paid. The whole pack or just the foam buzzers? Just the foams. <laughs> and what did they say? Yeah. For yeah. them, it's easy, right? Like, yeah. They have that stuff. Yeah. Like, when you're for dealing sure. with marketing budgets, they're like, yeah. Have you done things for sneakers, like, back in the day where you were like, man, I kind of, like, sold myself short on that just to get the shoes? Oh, for sure. Like that, right? Like all those, all those moments. Okay. But I love it, right? Somebody could offer me like a thousand dollars for lunch or dinner, and be like, eh, probably like I don't want to meet somebody. If somebody came up to me with a crazy pair of shoes, I'm like, yo, where do you want to meet? Let's go, right? right. Like, Hand you a bunch of cash at the sneaker con and not even think about it. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> I want to talk to you about StockX too. You were yeah. an early investor in StockX. Do people know that about you? And do you become like the de facto StockX guy? If somebody has like a customer service issue, they're like, Ski, what's up with this? I know, right? It's, that's actually what happened at first, right? Now they're obviously big enough. I think people realize that it's not me running it or ever yeah. having any <laughs> operations things, but I was getting all those tags and tweets when people yeah. were complaining about those things. But yeah, I got in early before it even had a name. The most successful like financial move I ever made without question is putting a small check into this startup, right? That's now, you know, gonna hopefully IPO to a really good valuation. When are they gonna IPO? When is it? We'll come? see. I mean, the markets have been a little tough, so I think everybody's taking a little hit, but they, they're timing it right. And like, are you gonna buy a yacht when they do? Like, <laughs> wait, how much, you th how much you think realistically that you have profited off of StockX? That's a good like little, like I forget what the exact amount was, but a small check and that's gonna be millions oh. off of like, you know, 25, 50K check or something, right? So that's, that's, a, great, that's a great turnaround. That's what everybody wants. It's way better it's than any Better sneakers. than reselling actual sneakers? Yeah. yeah, but that showed me as I like started getting into other sectors, like the power that of being a voice and being a scene, you know, or being a figure in that scene, of how you can really parlay that and turn that into a real business. So when I just started doing cards, by the way, I got these cards for you. Uh, I'll give you in a second. Like, I did the same thing. I was like, all right, there's a big opportunity. I thought like trading cards were coming back. Yeah. And I, I thought there was a huge opportunity to get in the scene. And because of that, like, you know, I launched this time instead of just me, I launched a fund with a couple other partners um, and we've like you know we invested in whatnot you know series a they got I think their last valuation you know a few billion dollars and for you guys Derek Jeter I figured right like iconic New York yeah Thought that style might be for you had to take it in Atlanta Ronald hey. Acuna these are the designs that I had hey. and for you had to do like old school so not oh, wow. satchel page Thanks. so how much is this worth so if you got the foils, they're worth a little more. They would randomly insert these. These were like 20 bucks on tops and you'd get some some other fun ones. They're selling on eBay for a little bit more than that. But I tried to design all my cards with like sports mi mixed with music. That was the design theme that Thank you. sense. Thank you. We right. shouldn't put these in the bicycle spokes. Yeah, exactly, no. right? You might not <laughs> want to do those with these. Right, right, I'll right. get you guys hooked up. That'd be actually fun. I'd love to see somebody do that. Speaking of Josh Luber, you guys had a video online where they had come to your sneaker collection and yeah. done like ran through everything and put together a total of how much the your collection was worth yeah. at the time this was like six years ago or so it was like yeah. four hundred thousand dollars they were guessing you did a video recently mm -hmm. now you're like at like over a million yeah. is it crazy to see how much your sneaker collection has like the have you just gotten more shoes or the value has gone up it's a little both right like I, I timed it right and got in on those things early and, and collected more obviously over those years and mm -hmm. went back and got, got things where do you think you rank now in like collections when it comes to sneakers? It's interesting. So like I've tried to cut back and get rid of some stuff just because like I had a moment where I was thrown out a pitch last year at the San Diego Padres game. They brought me down and I was like, I'm gonna stunt. And even though mm -hmm. they'd just come out with the, the Mocha 3s again, yeah. I was like, oh no, I'm bringing out the 2001 yeah. versions. Text original. Walk down to the stadium, I'm there, all those things. The second I hit the dirt, guess Done. what happened? It crumbled? So, oh. Right on me live. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Shoes don't last forever. And I was like, I can't keep these sitting there. They took up so much room. Like I had multiple bedrooms, a full garage, storage space. And then I also realized like, these shoes are sick. I love them. Trinidad can pull them off. I can't pull these yeah, off. Wait, what's a shoe that in your collection that you know you can't wear? Jeremy Scott. 
Yeah, Jeremy Scott for sure, right? right? Like, yeah, yeah. Those, and I had those. I had the Angel. I already know. Like, <laughs> like, if you're a collector, you're gonna buy it. Yeah, like, like yeah. why not? At one point, you were like, yeah, I'll wear so those. So sick. I was like, I wear these on Fourth of July or right, something, right? right? right. And I'm like, right. That didn't happen. Yeah, it couldn't happen. And I was like, you know what? I'm so I had that realization. Like, I'm just buying things, and now I try to focus on things that I actually really like. And and like, look, if we fight those things too. And I hate being the the grumpy old man. That's like, oh man, it's too popular, right? Like, no, this is what cool. this is for. This is the grumpy but, old man cow. Yeah, literally. Yeah. This is I know exactly. <laughs> Exactly, right? Like, it's either triggered me, everything, like, it's going up. So, it's, <laughs> I think that for me now, I try to focus on things that I really love. Like, I love Air Maxes, like, 95, 97. Yeah. 90s, I was really into. I've just been burned out on them a little okay. bit. I feel like you that's the like... biggest thing between your collection, though, is that, yeah. like, it's a lot of, like, old stuff, but yeah. not old stuff that you bought recently. It's like you have Air Max 95s from 1998 <laughs> yeah. that are like, I remember you like seeing you take them out and you're like, oh, I guess I can't wear these now. Yeah, it's true, <laughs> You right? waited too long. To take a question from Wilty, because he asks us this question sometimes. So you're a person like yourself that has a lot of shoes, obviously. When you look in the corner, it's still like the same five shoes. 100%. What are those five shoes you're wearing a lot these, 100%. this year? You guys are gonna laugh at this. So there's this other sh startup that I actually invested in transparently, but I love their service. It's called Kicks World, and it's like a sneaker rental thing. And people are like, what, you're renting sneakers? I'm like, you know why I love it though? Because I can get all these shoes. I'm not wearing these around the city, like in New York and stuff. Like I wear them to the shoot, then they're going right back in my bag. So I've actually been wearing some some of the Union Dunks that I got from them, right. just beating them to hell, which is great, right? Because usually I'm like, man, I want to save these for years. Now I don't have to worry about that. Air Max 97s. I'm wearing some old school like uh, silver bullet, but like the chlorine blue instead of the, yeah, yeah. the red ones. Yeah. Uh, Griffey ones, of course. Like I always just wear those. You get a chance to do your own sneaker collab. Are you doing an Air Max or are you doing a Griffey? I'd right. probably do a Griffey just because it's been it hasn't been done as much. And yeah. Right. There are, could be some. Yeah. Stuff are there any? In the I don't think there's any Griffey or collaborations. Or? You'll yeah. see. You'll see some stuff coming with us soon. All right. Maybe not sneakers. Yet, maybe someday. So <laughs> if you guys put in the request. Come on. Yeah. They'll they'll listen to us if we put in the request. <laughs> yeah. <for sure. laughs> All they do is steal from us. <laughs> <laughs> Ski. Every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section. Yes. For something terrible they did or said last week, oh, wow. as decided by the YouTube commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week it's my friend Matt Welty for saying that Yu Gi No joke. Yeah. Yu Gi Oh, more like Yu Gi No. Uh, nice. Didn't have the heart of the cards on that one, I, so I gotta. I think they still are awful shoes. Yeah, you're right. They still are awful shoes, but I don't even know. Wait, like what this are is these? a new level. Oh, wow. it, it, it's almost like a. Is it, is it a biking <laughs> shoe? It almost looks like Dude. a rock climbing shoe. I don't know. <laughs> one of those like bouldering shoes. This well, is I'm nuts. scared. Yeah. Where'd you even find these? <sighs> you know, obviously in, in the rap world, there's the concept of having the real chain and the fake chain. Would oh, you yeah. be, would you be okay with having the real Red Octobers, but then having, because you said you don't like to wear the shoes and to value uh, them. Would you be okay I'm with having a fake you. pair? <laughs> nah, only to perform it. You only wear the, these the nah, perform it at Octobers. Like, <laughs> we grew up that way, right? Like you just can't no, do it. Can't like, do it no. I know no Nick Cannon what. does it. He has like those $2 really? million dollar shoes and he has like a fake pair of them, but Decoy. he has like, I couldn't do it, right? Like, no, and I, as much as no, like, I sneakers. want to, like, yeah, I can't. I'd rather rent some sneakers. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> like, I'm just saying that we can rent shit. Like, 100%. They're the it. real things, right? Like, you pay for them and do it that way, but it's, yeah. So, Ski, my brother. <laughs> wow, well, T. <laughs> I mean, sexy. We also do a segment on the show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Yes. Drip meaning that it looks good, flip meaning that you resell, and skip meaning that we don't fuck with it at all. Our first sneaker and drip flipper skipper is going to be the net face times Nike SB. Ski, I'm going to start with you. You're an SB guy. Is this a drip? Is this a flip? Is this a skip? I'll probably flip it. I don't like the swoosh on that side, to tell you the truth. That's the only part I don't love. I've been a neck face fan for a long time, but this is a little too spooky for me. I'm skipping it. <laughs> Welty? Remember when I got hired as an intern at Complex a decade ago, there was actually a neck face tag outside of the original 23rd Street nice. office. Sick. I remember walking past that every day. But with that said, this shoe has way too much going on. <laughs> the nostalgia doesn't, doesn't yeah, take it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, all right. Yeah. You, see what he, you see what he likes, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. This shoe is a nuance. <laughs> What's the nuance to this? I, no, no, I'm just it's talking about like, Let's just throw everything on it. <laughs> you know, but I feel like these are for the kids. These yeah. are for the youth. I'm going to drip these for the youth. I'm going to do yeah. it for the youth. Brave. Shoe number two, we got Teddy Sanchez, the baddest mofo low key right now. New Balance 990 V3, made in the USA, baby. We have a residence New Balance guy on the couch. I, I like these. These are good. I think it's cool, too, that even though 
the Teddy Santis collaboration is like a little limited, you do see a lot of people wearing these shoes out in public and that's kind of awesome. So, yeah. drip. Yeah, this is made in America, baby. I like these okay. I don't get, you know, super horny for them like wealthy, but they're fine. Okay. See, I haven't bought New Balances in a while. I went through a phase where I decided like I was only gonna, like I really only wear like Nikes and Jordans, right. to be honest. Like you look at my collection for the most part. I actually almost made my first New Balance purchase in like a decade, but they didn't have my side of the Cyclades. Mm. Big one. So, you know what? I wanna get the, I love the Joe Fresh Good ones too that you're in, Trinidad. So I think I'm gonna have to start with one of those things. So for that, I'm gonna skip these, but I might come back and You'll get be them the later. Train Once soon. I, yeah. you know, I'm Hop not the quite wagon. there, but I like the colorway a lot. I'm just not there on New Balance yet, but I'm starting, like, we'll see. I am, and I've never met Teddy, so I'm not, I'm not even being biased. I really, really think that this guy is like, He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's like, crushing it right now. Neo he's crushing the Matrix, it, dog. He's the, one. he's the one right now, bro. He like the store is tight, the shoes are tight, the the rollouts are tight, the commercials are tight. It's a drip, a comfortable ass drip. Shoe number three. I'm gonna go first on this. This is the Nike Dunk Low UCLA. I love this shoe. Don't ask me why. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna ask you why. <laughs> this, <laughs> I, it's I don't know. It just looks so good. It just a sexy ass shoe, just the colors look good. UCLA, damn, these look good as hell to me. Like, I feel like when I wear these, they're gonna look good. So it's a drip. Chip Kelly, the head coach of UCLA football. Chip. He's from New Hampshire. So, that said, it's a drip. Ski. So, I think I'm gonna flip these, cause I can't, I don't, you know, the Dunk Lows, it has to be the right colorway for me, and I just couldn't pull off the, the blue and the yellow. Yellow doesn't look good on me, generally, unless it's with purple. I'm gonna flip these to, to Eric Kendricks, he's a UCLA boy on the Vikings, or Anthony Barr, who's now on the, the Cowboys. I'll get one of them to buy it. Can you do yeah. the Panda Dunks? I could do, yeah, I could pull those out. I guess they're same with like black and white. Once you start getting some of the colors, I'm like, yeah, this is a Skip Kelly for me. I can't oh, wow. get down with UCLA. Oh, and we're recording this a little bit early, but I feel like I will be vindicated, and I feel like, you know, by the time this comes out, Oregon will have just defeated UCLA. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that should let you know why you, you shouldn't be putting me in. My brother Ski, we also do outfits on this segment, and we have to do DJ Ski outfits, oh, outfit number one. Uh -oh. <laughs> Taking it way back. Tell Damn, who mine or James is? I don't know which is worse there. <laughs> What, what's going on here? How long so, are those shorts? So yeah, that's back in, that's early, that's like 2010 era, right? Like okay. 2012 or something. So this is when James was in Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. So whenever uh, they came to town at the time, I'd been out to Oklahoma and helped KD do some music stuff. And whenever they were in LA, they'd come by our studio. I remember one night, KD called me, he's like, yo, I love this kid, like K-Dot, Kendrick. He's like, all right, great. So I called Kendrick and brought, I was like, yo, Kevin Durant, he's about to be an NBA superstar wants to record some stuff, come down, and they did a record together, and we've got all the footage of that. And then I think- Did that ever night, come out? Uh, might, I think it did, yeah, with my boy Privilege, they put it out. I, I think you give KD an honest critique of his bars, or were you- KD's can spit, KD actually makes beats and stuff, too. He's like- He's a musically into, inclined you know, guy. Shout out to KD, because he's the one that introduced me to, to one of my good friends, too, Dave East. Like, I remember he's oh, like, yo, out. my boy that I used to ball with. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. like, he's, like, he's a rapper, Dave. and I was like, what are you talking about? We connected and I let Dave use the studio and now he's, he's Dave, Dave East, East, right? So right. like, that's my guy. But I think this night was actually crazy because I brought Nipsey through. I was managing Nipsey at the time. Um, okay. And so it was like, dude, the studio was like Kendrick Perkins, Nipsey, James, I think KD came down. Like, it was wild. It was a damn good time. It was wild. But those shoes though, Jordan 12 playoffs, and those, are, the crazy thing is, those are the originals. Those aren't yeah. retros, those Still are originals. Because if I can get the original shoes with it, it's a drip all day. Okay. Yeah, that's a ski. If <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> He's a fun. But I like I like seeing like James Harden in the Jordan threes. By the way, you got the Victory right. Lab Jordan threes too, right? Yeah. Extremely rare. Crazy. Well, that was yeah. There was supposed to be a big deal that happened, and somebody another brand came with more money. That's a crazy shoe. Damn. But imagine too, then like if Nipsey had done the deal with Jordan, you know? Yeah. Like how that, memorable that would have been. And that was one of my last conversations with him because I got him. I was like, I thought they were actually gonna happen. It's because before he announced the Puma stuff, and I was like, man, congrats, you got a Jordan, bro? <laughs> he's like, oh man, thanks. And I was like, all right, he's a little short on those things. He didn't tell me all the Puma stuff that he had going on, and why it didn't, like, look, I'm sure when, when Nike cuts a check or whatever, like, it's great. Yeah. But for him, like, Puma probably offered a much better yeah. situation from that. The one thing, 
we have to point out about this photo, <laughs> the elephant in the room that nobody's talked about. I'm sure it's because there was the deal with Adidas at the time. But James Harden's wearing Adidas track pants with Air Jordan 3s. Get on James. Shout out to my boy James. Take me out of this one. <laughs> I'll deflect it. Is that, is that set tripping by association? Yeah, I couldn't do that. James, you, you messed up Well, tonight. this is 10 year. This is 2010. He's, He's young. Yeah. He doesn't have his own shoe yet. I got to skip it with the with the Adidas pants. With the just by proximity. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna go drip based off of the story. <laughs> I'm like biased it. to nip. I'm always biased to nip. I'm sorry, guys. Well, actually, I'm not sorry. This is a drip. How for number two? Talk to me. Where, where? Oh, I like that. That's. Uh, I was actually giving Gentry Humphy an award right there from Jordan Brand. He's being honored. Yeah. So I was like, all right. With the suit, let me pull out, and I think those are the DMP 11s too. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Let's go. Yeah. So I was like, all right, Subtle flex. can I be real with y'all? I don't know how to tie a tie. Really? So <laughs> yeah, I can't tie a tie. Welty can help you out. For real. So I like, you. I always have to have like somebody help me. Uh, it's a drip all day. Still. Welty. Sometimes you see sneakers with a suit, and it's not like the best look, but <laughs> this all goes together. This is how it should be done. So drip. Brendan Dunn. Especially if he was presenting an award to Gentry Humphrey. Like, I can think of no more appropriate shoe yeah, to right. wear. So, this is a drip. Yeah, this is drip all across the board from a fashionista like myself. Outfit number three Chet Hanks. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Big Chet in the house. Chet, <laughs> Minneapolis boys. Oh, shit. I had to show him a good time when he came to LA. Well, you have this huge OKC connection now too, right? I know, right? It's so what random. The all, the, all the young, all the young guys when they go in the league, they get all my boys get drafted by OKC. Hey, look at that, man! Look at that. I'll take it for me. I'm wearing the, you know, I got the Sakai. Oh, vapor waffle. Vapor waffle, yeah, which I love. One of my favorite shoes. Like, yeah, that's a drip for me all day. It's just like comfortable and what I wear every day. Chet is super into fashion and stuff though, so he's like. He is all about it day zero, like making to the NBA, like he takes pride on it and stuff. Like he's deep in like all the designers and knowing the stuff even above my head. So I'm gonna give him a drip 100%. He knows way more than me already. Yeah, he's way above your head. See, this is what yeah. I, I And by like, the way, he's standing. You That's did some outside. cheat codes here because you have the Sakai's on, which is an extra sole, yeah. so you've got some height and, there. And I'm already tall, I'm like 6'3". And right? you're like, on the curb oh. and he's not. You noticed it, I yeah. was gonna say. Yeah, he barely fits. Oh so. shit, are you on the curb? Yo, he's a, like, that's why he's gonna be a beast. I'm t like, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not like, a, I mean, yeah, I'm like, like a you're short tall. guy. Like, I look like a midget next to him and yeah. stuff. But this is a skip for me because I feel like you were trying to trick us with all the, you know, the visual. Illusions. I know, right? It's like I'm closer yeah. to the camera. Yeah, too, and I know right? how that like, goes. <laughs> got like the boyfriend girlfriend like pose, like leaning on, <laughs> yeah. leaning on his, oh my God. <laughs> leaning on his shoulder well, a little bit. Drip, 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 drip. drip. Let's go, Chet. Yeah, I'm um, I'm big Chet fan. I liked him when I was seeing him play in high school. Yeah, yeah this is a drip, man, for me. Yeah. I mean, it's simple drip, comfort. Um, I just love the picture. I love this this OKC yeah. full story. You got it's going got on the there? blue. I got the blue lights on in it too in the background. It all matched <laughs> hey. up randomly. All makes nice sense. flex. Yeah, this is a drip. Go ahead, Brendan. Ski, before we get out of here for the yeah. day, we want to breeze to the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. <laughs> We have one from Anthony Wynn saying, hands down the best sneaker tube show. I love how this show and you guys have evolved. Wow. It's great. It's how many best? seasons? 14. I have no That's idea. That's insane, right? Congrats, y'all. I mean, this Thank is you. long overdue. We've been talking about this forever. Yeah. And, and it took Brandon yeah. reaching out to, to actually make this happen. But I'm glad like, you, guys, you guys are crushing it. So. Surprised you didn't invest on our show early. I would have. Nobody <laughs> hit me. Come we on, need a there, cash injection it? for sure. You're amazing. Anthony said, it's the best oh. show now because Trinidad likes style. Wealthy likes good quality made shoes. And Dun Dada is just a shot in the dark on what he likes. I'm not <laughs> sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I need Welty to go all for Nike next season, then all Jordan the season after that. Would you, <laughs> do we get you? We'll trade places. I'll do like the New Balance okay. and stuff. You, I'll give you all the Nikes. Yeah. And if, Ni if Nike gave you all the good shoes, right? Like There's they, plenty of Nike shoes that I like. Yeah, I'm not I'm a saying Nike gave you hater by any you means. Like. You're not Would a hater you, by any means. If they gave oh. you every shoe that you wanted, <laughs> oh, let's say we shoot 10 episodes, right? If they gave you 10 shoes that you wanted, would you wear all season? For free. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. Okay. Set something up. Jesus Franco says, I still feel like I'm in some type of circle for subscribing to this show and getting some type of information out of these guys and all the guests, almost like some type of consumer confidential, or I just need more friends. I would lean toward the latter, <laughs> but we're friends with you oh, for now. Friends. Ski, we're so happy to call you a friend. Thank you, you for being here. Friends. Thank My you brother. guys so much. This has been another Thank episode of Full Size Round. Size. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm at Wealthy. Trinidad James. And I'm DJ Ski. We're out. <laughs> it's at the walk. I feel, like, I feel like I'm about to take the walk to pull in. <laughs> 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 every color, that's a full size. 
buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. My Island boys! <laughs> Just hanging out here on the couch. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> Guys, this is season 14 and we need you, like we always do, every time we sit here, we're the new outcast, by the way. What? And ask you to subscribe to our show. You watched the episode, but your work is not done yet. We need your support now more than ever. Like all the videos, comment on all the videos, make your whole family watch all the videos, only say good things about us. Put our show in your stories, share it, recycle it, do it again, start over, watch the first season, catch up. Family gatherings, just throw it on for, for any reason. Island boys!